We are here in Charleston where we witnessed that once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event along with millions of Americans today, the total solar eclipse. The first seen coast to coast across America in nearly a century. This NASA satellite image showing the shadow of the moon moving across the country. And down here, millions drawn together to take in the breathtaking view from Oregon to the Adler Planetarium in Chicago to Times Square in New York City. Tonight, the massive traffic as millions now try to make their way home. Our team across the entire country today and ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman leading us off. After so much anticipation, it arrived right on schedule. The celestial matinee turning night today in Lincoln City, Oregon, the first stop for totality. Oh, my, it is just absolutely spectacular. Look how dark it is, how quiet it is. The air is still. This is like being in the eye of a hurricane. Next up, the place known as Solar City. I'm almost speechless. The crowd here is absolutely ecstatic. I'm going to have our cameraman, Glenn, turn down the lights. So you actually get a sense of how. Turn it off, Glenn. Let's see how dark it really is. It's pitch black here. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Magis, Oregon going dark for two minutes and four seconds. Then that sliver of sun coming back. 100,000 people just in this part of Oregon outside of Madras, feasting their eyes on a spectacle that many of us will never get to see again. The shadow marching eastward, averaging 1,800 miles an hour, reaching a place known as Carhenge in Alliance, Nebraska. American cars forming a replica of Stonehenge built by a family 30 years ago. 38 cars rescued from nearby farms, from, from the dumps. They painted them all gray, but right now, you can't see the color. You can just see the outline of them under that extraordinary moment there. The spectacle landing in city after city, including the so-called capital of the eclipse, Carbondale, Illinois. But Carbondale, which should have had two minutes and 41 seconds of darkness, was darkened by something else, clouds. You guys have brought us into the drama. You've got 45 seconds there, and it all depends on the, on the weather system above you. Thousands who traveled there crestfallen. They're looking up because this might be the only and best shot of it they get. But then, with just seconds left, the clouds part. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what an extraordinary <laughs> gift right there in the last final few seconds. In Kelly, Kentucky, something else emerges in the sky. And we can see Venus at this point here in Kelly, Kentucky. I love the fact that you can see Venus. Even the president stepping out of the White House to watch. Finally, the last major stop for the great American eclipse, Charleston, South Carolina. The clouds cooperating. You know, it really puts us in our place as far as our role in the cosmos, doesn't it? The fact that oh, we here really, on Earth are part of something it, it much really. bigger. And then sky gazers starting to make the long journey home. In remote Rigby, Idaho, bumper to bumper traffic for miles. You can see the traffic coming out of Idaho Falls goes as far as the eye can see. This traffic jam started precisely as the eclipse ended. People already had packed, gotten into their cars. One family heading back to California. And how long do you expect that to take you with this traffic? Oh, about 20 hours. 20 hours? Was it worth it? 20 hours? Oh, yeah! As it was for a nation of Americans soaking up the great American eclipse. That was a resounding answer from that family there, Matt. Matt Gutman joining us live tonight from Madras, Oregon. The total eclipse was really stunning, especially where you are. But now, hours later, those lines, that traffic, people still trying to get out? That's right, David. Early we saw the great American eclipse, but this afternoon we got to see the great American escape. And tonight, broad swaths of the Northwest in gridlock. In fact, it took people over three hours just to get out of the parking lot here in SolarFest, and I asked one motorist, was it worth it? She responded, it was totality worth it. You gotta have a sense of humor. David. We get it, Matt. The great American clips, and now the great totality. trip home. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.